parents, Paw Patrol The Mighty Movie is coming to theaters on September 29th. When a magical meteor crash lands in Adventure City, it gives the Paw Patrol pups superpowers. Holy smokes. But things take a turn for the worse when Humdinger breaks out of jail to steal their superpowers. Oh dear. Will the mighty pups be able to save Adventure City before it's too late? Oh, mark your calendars to see Paw Patrol, the mighty movie in theaters on September 29th. Hey friends, it's Mr. Tim and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. Guess what? Today's a very special day because Trey is turning five. <laughs> Happy birthday, Trey, from the entire Kid Short Stories family. I hope you have a super duper day. Well, friends, if you have an idea for a story, I would love to hear it so that maybe I can turn it into an awesome adventure. All of our stories come from ideas from kids just like you. Head on over to KidShortStories.com to send me your idea today. Are you guys ready for today's adventure? Me too. Let's go. It was a beautiful day outside as Trey and all of his friends were playing a game of basketball. Pass it here, pass it here, shouted Trey, holding his arms high up and grabbed on the ball, dribbled, and then all of a sudden, the ball completely exploded. As Trey had turned towards the hoop, he took one dribble, and all of a sudden, the ball completely exploded. Trey, are you okay? said his friends as they came running over, because that ball had exploded right next to Trey. Yeah, I'm okay, but what in the world happened? Said Trey. They leaned down and picked up a very floppy basketball. That is insane. I've never seen anything happen like that before, said one of Trey's friends. Well, I think it's about time for us to head home, Trey. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay, see you, bye. Trey was left there holding his floppy basketball and waving goodbye to his friends. And then something caught his eye. Wait a second. What is that? Said Trey as he looked down at that very flat basketball that had just exploded. He saw something very shiny and very pointy hanging out from the side of the basketball. What is this? Look at that. It's like glowing in it. Oh, it smells terrible. Wow. Whatever this thing was is what popped the ball. It must have been something sharp on the ground. And When the ball bounced on it, it exploded all the air pressure out of it. But Trey recognized something about this very smelly, shiny, pointy thing. He ran inside to check his spy manual just in case it was actually the thing he thought it might be. All right, where is that thing? Where's that picture? Uh... Trey was quickly turning through all the pages in the manual. You see, every spy also has a manual. This manual is the source of all the information that we've learned about Dr. Stinky Breath, the Purple Ninjas, Magna Hoops, and more. And so every spy needs to have a good grasp on how to find things inside of that manual. (gasps) This is it, shouted Trey. He couldn't believe what he was looking at. And he raced to his closet to grab his walkie-talkie. HQ, are you there? This is Trey. I just found something crazy. Over. Trey, it's great to hear from you, but what's going on? You're not going to believe this, but I was just playing basketball outside with my friends, and then all of a sudden the ball exploded, and I found, I'm pretty sure, a piece of a stinky crystal in my basketball. Did you say a stinky crystal? Oh, no. Let me check the reports. Hold on. Shh. This is insane. I can't believe that I just actually found a piece of a stinky crystal. Trey could not believe what was going on. Do you guys remember what a stinky crystal is? Yes, it is a real crystal that glows this like greenish, yellowish, I don't know, really bright glow. But it smells terrible. And Dr. Stinky Breath has a plan that if he is able to get one of those crystals, they're very rare, he will be able to fill our entire world with the stinkiest of stinky gas you've ever or never seen before. 
Oh dear. Trey, are you still there? Yes, HQ, I'm I'm still here. Did you see anything on the reports? Yes, and the news is not good. A series of comets in space have recently been detected. It has been believed that they may contain stinky crystals. But your findings have confirmed our suspicions. Those stinky crystals cannot fall into the hands of Dr. Stinky Breath. We will send you the coordinates of where they are expected to impact. It will be up to you, Trey, to retrieve all the stinky crystals as soon as possible before the doctor and his purple ninjas arrive. Good luck, Trey. There Trey was, standing in his bedroom, holding his walkie-talkie. He was feeling a lot of different emotions. Oh, I would, <laughs> I would be feeling the same. Excitement, nervousness. What about you? What kind of big emotions would you be feeling if you got called onto a real spy mission? He knew that he didn't have much time. So he ran through his closet and grabbed all of his spy gear. He had to make sure that he had everything he needed. You know, jetpack, net blaster, glue blaster. There are so many things that a spy needs to have with him at all times. Well, after he filled up his pack, he raced downstairs and saw his both of his sisters sitting at the table eating a delicious afternoon snack. All right, Hayden and Serena, I got to go on a really secret mission, but I will see you guys soon. I love you. Bye. Trey waved goodbye as Hayden and Serena didn't really even know what just happened. Trey zoomed by very quickly, but I'm pretty sure that these two sisters are going to turn into some amazing spies one day. All right, where are these coordinates? Uh, Oh my, it's going to be a couple hours away. All right, let's hit turbo mode, said Trey as he zoomed off with his jetpack towards the clouds. Thankfully, HQ had sent him the coordinates of the location where that comet was supposed to crash onto an island in the middle of the ocean. It was going to be a long ride, but it's a good thing his jetpack had a turbo button. You know, those turbo buttons, you got to be really careful. When you push them, it gives you super speed. So you got to be, you know, strapped in and buckled to make sure your jetpack doesn't blast off without you in it. (laughs) A few hours later, as Trey was flying through the clouds, he saw something ahead. Holy smokes, was that the comet? Shouted Trey. He was right. Off in the distance, he watched the comet crash onto this island. It threw sand and water everywhere, and then it quickly settled. All right. I better get there fast, said Trey. But up ahead, something terrible was happening. Wait a second. What are all those boats doing there? And (gasps) the purple blimp! Trey couldn't believe it. But somehow, Dr. Sticky Breath and all of his purple ninjas were in boats surrounding the island. They must have been tipped off somehow about this stinky crystal. And they were there to collect it. Trey flew down closer and dove down into the water. Splash! He pushed a button on his jetpack, which turned it into a scuba gear, and he was able to swim around underwater undetected. And then he heard a sound from a boat nearby. Yeah, we should be able to get the the stinky crystals from this island, but uh, our reports say that there was one uh, that must have fallen in a city uh, far away from here. We'll need to send a team to go get that other little stinky crystal piece uh, so we have all of them for the bus. Ah. Wait a second. Are they talking about the stinky crystal that was on my driveway that popped my basketball? (gasps) Trey just remembered that he had left that stinky crystal piece in his bedroom. How in the world is he going to save all these stinky crystals here on the island and the one back in his house? I don't know what is going to happen, but we're going to have to wait and see what happens on the next episode of Kids Short Stories. Hey friends, I need your help celebrating a birthday. Well, two of them. Drum roll, please. 
Happy birthday, Sloan and Remy, who are turning five and seven years old. Sloan and Remy are sisters whose birthdays are only seven days apart. That's awesome. They love science and their baby sister, Arya. Wow, I'm so glad we got to celebrate both of your birthdays on the show. Happy birthday, Sloan and Remy. Well, friends, I hope you all have a super duper day and I will see you on the next adventure. Bye. Hey, parents, home is a place to laugh, learn and play and a place where everyone should always feel safe. That's why at Kidda, we believe that protecting children from house fires is everyone's cause. Join us in our mission to help families everywhere learn about fire safety so we can help keep children safe at home and ensure lots more laughs in the future. Learn about the importance of smoke alarms and creating your own home fire safety plan by visiting causeforalarm.org.